Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a really fun project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this darling? The, all the little pots with the Dresden blades, just such a fun little look. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one packet of 10 inch squares and this is your background fabric. You're going to need 42 of those. Um, where you're going to need one packet of 5 inch squares and this is for your pot and we've used the Cotton Supreme Nile Green by RJR. Then you're going to need uh, a jelly roll. We used Fresh Air by American Jane for Moda. Love these 30 prints. You're also going to need a couple of templates. We used the Tumblr template and the uh, Dresden Plate template. And then you're going to need five yards of heat and bond because this is an applique project, but it's all done on the sewing machine, so it's super, super easy. So to make this block, what you're going to do is you're going to take your pot fabric first, we're going to concentrate on the pots, and you're going to adhere it, iron it to the heat and bond. So we're going to bring that over here. We're going to take our green square, line it up here, and iron it onto the heat and bond. And you'll do this with all your pots. It's easy to do it all at one time. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our tumbler template right here, we're going to lay it on our square, and we're going to cut out our pot. So just cut right along the edges of the tumbler template. And let me trim up this bottom right here. And that gives us our pot shape and it just and we really clean and easy and quick. So you're going to do that with all your pots and then we need to make the Dresden blades. Now, if you've never made a Dresden blade, this is going to rock your world because I love all things Dresden because they're so easy. I didn't realize how easy they were. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a jelly roll strip. Now, if you, when you use a whole strip, you're going to want to cut your selvage ends off and then you can just lay your ruler on it just like this. And um, we are going to put this at the five inch mark. So I'm going to turn this right here so this can go now. There are marks on the Dresden blade template all the way up and down for how big you want your Dresden. We want them to be five inches, so we're going to put this on the five inch mark. Right at the five inch mark, it's going to come edge to edge on that jelly roll strip. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this up here, across here, and down here, and that's going to give us our blade. Now you'll want to go ahead and do this all the way along on your on your Dresdens, you'll want to go ahead and cut all of them out. And this is the blade right here that you'll get. And let me show you how to do this because this is so much fun. So to make a Dresden blade, what we're going to do is we're going to fold it right sides on itself, just like this. And we're going to sew straight across the top. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. All right. And when you do these, you'll want to chain piece them. You'll just do them one after another after another. So here we have, you can see that's, that's straight across the top. And then we're going to turn them. And I just like to lay that seam to one side, push my point out, and lay it down. And you've got the blade done. The pointy part is already done. We haven't had to do any facings. We haven't had to measure the sides. We haven't had to use a template. We haven't, you know, I mean, we just, this is just perfect. So then what we're going to do is we're going to sew them together in twos, 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 fours, 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 because there are six flowers in each pot. This is the, this is the, the block we're working on, and there are six little blades in each pot. So I have some sewn together here, and I have three, and I'm going to put this red one over here and put this one right here in the center and that's going to be my bouquet of Dresdens. So let me go to the sewing machine and sew these together. Now one of the things you need to remember with Dresdens is that it's this part at the top that matters. We don't care what's happening down here in the bottom. It's going to be covered by the pot. So we're just going to make sure these match up and sew a quarter of an inch right down the side. And we're going to do that with all of our blades. Sew them together make little Dresden bouquets and then I'm going to add the other pieces right onto it so I have a total of six. And I want to stay, measure from my top, make sure my tops are together. 
And then sew right down the side. All right. So now we have this little Dresden fan, little bit of a fan right there. I'm going to iron it down. I like to iron from the top first because I like to make sure that all my seams are pressed open. And then you can go on to the back and press your seams down if you'd like. All right, so let's get our background scrap, I mean our background square, and put our block together. So we have to peel the paper off of our pot, and I do that. You can score the back or you can just roll the edge. I'm just going to roll the edge off here and uh, peel that off. And we're going to lay our blades on here. You want to make sure that they're not too uh, close to the top. Oh, one more thing we have to do. On the edge of these blades, there's still a raw edge, and we don't want that. So we're going to take this edge, and we're going to fold it under a half an inch and press that down. So let's do that. We don't want any raw edges on this. Sometimes you like a raw edge, but on the Dresdens, I like them to be turned under. All right, so now they're pressed down. You can see how I did that right here. And uh, press those down. So lay them back again on your square and lay your pot over it. Make sure that it's not too close to the bottom because you don't want to catch it in that seam. And these are not too close to the top. And your pot should come pretty close to the edges of your flowers. Then you want to take this over to the iron and we're going to press this down. And because this pot has the heat and bond on it, it's going to help hold our Dresdens in place. So very carefully, we'll come over here to the iron. Now if you want to put a little bit of heat and bond on the back of one of your Dresdens just to hold it in place, you can do that. If not, you can put a little pin in there. And then what's left is just the machine applique. And I love this part because it's so quick and easy. So I, you can use a zigzag. I like a blanket stitch and you want to find the blanket stitch on your machine. I'm going to go ahead and pin these, pin these down. I have a little bent pin here. And um, so it just holds down while I'm stitching it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little tiny blanket stitch that's just going to come in along this edge. Uh, and catch the edge so it just gives it that finished look. You can see it right here on here. But you'll want to look on your machine and see what stitch you have. This is a great place for those decorative stitches or your zigzag. I happen to just like the, um, the blanket stitch. Once you get your machine all set up with the stitch you want, um, what you're going to do is you're going to sew all the way around the pot first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I just make sure that it stays right along the edge of my fabric and just stitches over and catches that. Now I'm going across the top of my pot and we should just to finish this up real quick. There we go, we're at the end. And now we need to um, blanket stitch down these points. So what I'm going to do, you know, the first side is relatively easy because it's right along the side. So we're going to sew right up to the edge where this curves in and slow down. You want to make sure your needle's in a down position and you're just going to rotate it and you're going to do that point. When you get to the point, you'll rotate it and come down the other side. And you're just going to go ahead and do this with all your points. And you, it's amazing really how, how nice and clean it looks. All right, here's our last point. We're coming down the side. One, one more long side and we are home free. Perfect. 
All right. So this is our block right here, this little potted Dresden. You go ahead and trim off these threads. And there we go. There's our finished block. Now I want you to take a look at how this looks uh, right here on the top. You can see how the little stitch comes in and it just makes a beautiful little finish. You haven't had to do any handwork. And really quickly what we're going to do is there are 42 of these in the packet. So that means we have six pots across by seven pots down. So this finishes out to be a 68 by 78 inch quilt. We've used um, uh, about, a, about a yard for this first border and a yard and a half for this second border and it just comes together quick and easy. Now when you go to put your rows together we are just sewing pots to pots, blocks to blocks, right together. So we're going to just sew this seam, sew a whole row, attach to the other row. There's no sashing or anything involved in this. Now if you decided to add sashing it would add a whole nother look. But we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Dresden Flower Pot from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi, it's Jenny again, and I loved this quilt in the 30s prints, but look how darling it looks in brights. So keep a watch out for this. It might be in the Black Magazine.